your business. Hey, friends. Look who I got here. This is Shreya. Shreya Lay. That's Colin Lay. I've brought her in as our resident business expert Ooh to talk about what are the steps these glasses mean business to have her talk about what are the steps of filing an l l c so shreya yes uh fire away i guess i mean who's going to be filing an llc a lot of people could be filing an llc people could be filing an llc for themselves Attorneys could be filing an LLC for you. Let's start with a little story first. Like what? I don't know. You I know, have a story about, about it. Oh, okay. Sorry that I messed it up. Huh? Well, I just don't. It's not a very story-filled topic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll start. I can think of something. Okay. You're excited. I you, am. Yes. You've come up with this brilliant business idea. You can't wait to get it up off the ground and out there in front of your customers and clients. But what is standing in your way? Thing standing in your way is that you need to file for your business name with the Secretary of State. Oftentimes, small business owners file as an LLC to begin with. They hear it's great. Is that hard? It is not that hard to simply file the LLC. No you know way. where I see people fail with where? it? Is in the implementation, the after steps, mm. and in maintaining it. These okay. are the things where people fail. But filing the LLC is not that hard. You can go to your Secretary of State's website and follow the instructions that they have there. But then what people don't necessarily realize is that they don't know what all the different parts are, roles that you have to have for the LLC. And the big one that people don't know about is the registered agent. They don't know what that is. So they just put some name on there. Sometimes it's the their brother, spouse. Cousin. Their, yeah, cousin spouse themselves yeah. uh -huh. these are the most common ones and so they don't understand what a registered agent does they may not realize that they have to after that file for a business license mm. they may not know the difference between their articles of incorporation and their operating agreement and that they have to have an operating agreement a lot of times to start to open up their business bank account when all those customers and clients start pouring in to use your services and you need some place to deposit that money. Wow. Things have gotten complicated, Shreya. <laughs> I so, feel like you're mocking me. I'm not. I mean, so that's the question. The question submitted to us was, mm -hmm. what are the steps of filing an LLC? And there's not a lot of steps I mean, no. to just filing it. That's just a psh, file. Right. But, they're, but that just, is not the same as starting a business. Yeah, and that's just essentially one step mm -hmm. in starting a business. Right. It's one of the many milestones, you could say. Mm hmm Yeah. Interesting. Okay. And to having your business be officially registered with your state and city, there are several steps. Filing the LLC is just one of them. Fascinating, Shreya. Thank you for sharing that tip today. And I'm wondering if people ask similar questions, if there's some other questions that they ask as well. Colin, there may be a way to find that out. Let's head to the internet and find out. Stay tuned, possibly, unless the answers, questions are really boring. Uh, but otherwise, thanks, Shreya. If you like Shreya, I mean her, <laughs> her explanation. Please give her a like. But I will take it personally. Every like will be a, um, a symbol for liking me as a human being as well. Ooh. <laughs> Just kidding. Big stakes at hand. <laughs> All right. See you all. Bleed.